As we study space in the game of basketball, what I really want to understand is what causes the split-second decisions of space that players make with their feet. And so as we study this play by Russell Westbrook and really look within the moments, we're going to look at a bound into an extended stop finish. But what I want to look at is why he makes the small decisions he makes with his feet. Now these types of decisions aren't necessarily thought out, they're not planned, they're reactive. But we want to understand why the player reacts to those types of instincts. So as we start off right now, Russell Westbrook is going to do a lift. Now a lift doesn't have to be laterally, in most cases a lift goes up. And he does a lot of lifts in his game because he, by coming up and coming down, it builds momentum. It allows him to be explosive. Now he's going to combine a lift with a bound, which is an outside movement laterally, to open up lines of north and south. So if I have a defender who's squared off in front of me and I don't have my straight lines yet, I can use a bound, in this case he crosses, bounds, and lands, to open up new angles of north and south. Now what I want you to notice is what the defender does and how that bound opens up lines. Because in this case, when Westbrook lands, or when he's getting to his new space, the defender has given him a line to the basket. And that's exactly why you'll see him land, in this case, in a skinnier drop position. See, when you look at this mat, and when we've done drops in the past, we've really stressed width. Because when a player does not give you the lines, you need those wider stances in order to open up better straight line drive options. But if the defender has already given you the line, you don't need to be in a wide stance because that's not going to be quite as explosive. And so Westbrook, in a split second, reads that he already has the line and lands in a skinnier drop, which you'll see inside those dots, so now he can just simply get right to his explosion. And so those are the types of reactions we have to be able to make instantaneously in moments of the game. So we have our cross, lift, bound into our skinny drop, and then we can simply explode. So now that we have our actual drive, what I want you to understand is the power of an extended stop finish. Now an extended stop finish is a two foot jump that isn't worked on enough. When you watch most coaches do layup line drills before games, you're typically going to see one foot finishes. You're not going to see two foot extended stop finishes even though it's become one of the most common and important jumps in the game of basketball. Now the power of an extended stop finish is that a player can literally dribble all the way until the point of their jump. They don't have to telegraph, they don't have to pick it up early as a normal one step uh, layup would be and start taking your two steps. Instead, you're literally putting pressure on the defense the entire way until you're ready to jump. Now in this case, Westbrook's able to cover that space in two dribbles. He's able to get his last dribble down before his inside foot hits the red and then in one fluid motion, he's able to extend that next step while picking up the ball and jump in to space. See, this is the type of jump you need to be able to explode towards the basket and not always straight up in the air. Sometimes you don't have to jump up and not out, especially when the game calls for jumping out instead of only up. So this type of extended finish allows you to fluidly jump into space without stuttering or slowing down. So we have to have the ability to explode, get to that same space, and then stretch towards the basket. Now if you can put that together and understand the space requirements of a drop like that and be able to have fluid jumps off extended stop finishes, now you're preparing yourself to be explosive like Russell Westbrook. Doesn't mean that you have to be as explosive because few are, but you can have the explosive techniques to make you the best athlete that you can be in this game. Uh.